Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will quickly see how to check if a file exists in the download folder of your Android app, from your Android app or not. So we'll use uh, the API level 30 and above for Android 11 and above. So let's begin. We'll create a new project next and check file exists. Of course, you can name this app anything. Click finish, wait for the environment to load. Once the environment loads, I'll also start my emulator in parallel. And in parallel, first and foremost, I'll grant the permission to access the uh, external storage by the user permission. So, write external storage, of course, and the other one will be use permission, read external storage. Perfect. So once I have defined this in uh, manifest file, I think I can go back to the Java code. I can minimize this side, even I can probably minimize the emulator, let the app uh, load. And in the on page method itself, what I'll do is first and foremost, I'll ask the user uh, activity compare. I'll replace the permission from the user. So for that, this new stream. String dot no, no not a string sorry manifest dot manifest dot permission dot and the two permissions which you need is read and write action and story so one by one we'll do it in this uh, array of the strings we'll make it yeah perfect and once we have it then we'll do package manager permission granted okay perfect now uh, also I think I'll create a public method for the button public void button check file exists and we'll use this uh, method in the on click attribute of one of the buttons so let's go quickly to our layout and here let's quickly insert a button which will check whether a file exists or not so file exists and um, yeah and what i can do is i can just associate it with that own click attribute perfect apart from that i think i'll keep this text view as it is probably i'll use this text view to display my output a yes or no whatever i mean so i'll just give it some id probably text view and i also create a plain text uh, which will take my input so okay let me put it on the top let me bring it down and this will be the my input uh, yeah, so no, I think I'll delete this and I'll put some constraints. I'll give a hint. Uh, if I scroll down below, there should be something called a hint. Yeah, over here, and I'll just enter file name. Of course, I'm just showing that how we can dynamically take the file name from the this. Okay, so this is my ID. I'll use this to capture or to associate it in my Java code. So I'll quickly go back here and create two. Java method one is a text view and the other one will be edit text. Edit text is to take the input from the user. Edit text. I think in the first one I forgot to create a variable. Yeah. Now in the onCreate method, I'll do one thing. I'll one by one associate it find you by id r dot id dot text view. Edit text we should find you by id r dot id dot Edit text person name. I don't know why it appears that these errors. I'm not sure if I, I think I really need to go away. These errors, yeah. If, if, I, if I compile the app, it goes away. Nevertheless, I think I have this local variable. So now over here in the file exists, what I'll do is first and foremost, I'll string string. Okay, so on the right hand side, since I've rerun, it's asking me to allow then my app to access photos and videos on your device so click yes so that it has the access to the external storage memory because of these two lines of the code line number 24 and 25 anyway string file name and this we can do it using edit text got uh, dot get text to string that so here we'll get the input from the user in this line number 35 we'll capture it over here now to proceed further we'll also need something called a storage manager a storage manager and we can get this storage manager from system service this and 
I think we can use this context dot storage service perfect yeah this is what I wanted no I think it will be asking to, to cast so just do a type casting over here to the storage manager over here it will take care Android studio will take care now if proceed further I think I can extract the volumes from this so what I'll do is I'll use something called I'll no, no, no storage volume storage volumes from this storage manager the list of the get storage volumes perfect and then uh, from this storage volumes one by one uh, we can check um, uh, so I think I since I know that first storage volumes is of uh, internal type so I will pull that uh, storage volume storage volume in a separate variable called storage volume and storage volumes dot get and of course index will be the zero index and once I have it then I can quickly use my I can create a file variable file and using this new file and I can use this storage volume dot get directory dot get I think I can use something called as probably this get path and then over here I can use the file name so most likely okay let me quickly go to my app and most likely we'll play with the files which are in the downloads folder only so I'll hard code it over here but otherwise in your case in your actual app you can also take the path from the user okay so I'll hard code it over here probably so for hard coding download slash and uh, yeah so and then the file name will come anywhere from here so I can control C control V perfect I think what I can do is I can put it like this and now we can use this uh, file here so I will use something of the if condition if file dot exist then in text view we can print set text uh, file exist okay and otherwise uh, else text view dot file no 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 I think first we should do text view dot set text and file does not exist okay that's all I guess I can read in the code in my emulator and see how it turns up so yeah I think I'm our app has come up on the right hand side so let me enter the file so as I told as I showed you that we'll be playing with this file so I think let's uh, sample.pdf test.pdf and all these are some of the files which which we can play with so I first enter sample.pdf and see what is the output so it says file exists over here and probably I can zoom a little bit so that you all can see what is happening and uh, probably I can use something I'm, I'm doing it intentionally I'm giving it a wrong value so sample one dot pdf which I know doesn't exist so it says file does not exist so let me use some other file which is test dot pdf file exist again I can okay there was one other file called test dot txt file exists and but if say for example instead of txt I just put text file doesn't exist it should match completely yeah so that's all I wanted to show you. It's so easy to check. Main API is this line number 48 uh, that file exists in this if condition and it will return yes or true or false. And based on that condition, we can use in our code accordingly. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. This short video and uh, yeah, to check any file whether it exists or not very quickly. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.